ever wondered how much money is made from arms trade globally? Well, hold on to your seats. Today we're talking about a record-breaking arms deal, and it may not be who you think. Welcome to Hear the Web with Tom and Lily. Indeed, Tom. Our subject comes from a new report by the Campaign Against Arms Trade. The UK, one of the world's largest weapons makers, had its highest ever value of arms export licenses in 2022 at an astounding £8.5 billion. That's 9.8 billion euros, folks. And the timing? Truly ominous. This came about during a year when global violence and bloodshed reached a 28-year peak due to wars in nations like Ethiopia and Ukraine. That's right. In fact, the UK has been avidly supporting Kyiv in its conflict against Russia. The report alludes to concerns over transparency in Ukraine, specifically detailing worries about the final destination of these weapons once the current conflict concludes. The report goes even further, Lily. Most of UK's weapons exports found their way to countries known for repressive regimes or shoddy human rights records. That's including the Middle East. The top customer? Qatar, purchasing £2.7 billion worth of arms. Much of that came from a deal for 24 Typhoon combat aircraft, Tom. But trailing closely was Saudi Arabia, buying primarily missiles and bomb components to the amount of £1.1 billion. Now, let's pause for a moment on Saudi Arabia. Remember Yemen's civil war. The UN confirms the conflict, which Saudi Arabia has been a key actor in since 2015, has claimed the lives of countless people directly and indirectly. Absolutely, Tom. Saudi-led airstrikes have faced accusations of war crimes. The UK reportedly has provided personnel, expertise, and weaponry for this campaign. Then there's the issue of the next top three weapon importers from the UK the US, Turkey, and once again Ukraine, but without counting gifts to Kyiv. This report even highlights concerns about a rapid procurement process combined with a lack of transparency, leading to the risk of waste and corruption. They suspect that after conflicts end, these arms could be diverted to other countries, armed groups, or even criminal gangs. Speaking of the US, the Kyiv report doesn't spare them either. The group pointed out a significant portion of the UK's sales to the US with smaller arms, like sniper rifles. They indeed noted that as problematic, Tom. As they put it, these weapons could add to gun violence or end up smuggled into Mexico and Central America. Apparently, a large number of the guns used by criminal gangs there originate from the US. The report also mentions some locations where buyers of UK weapons remain anonymous. Now, this lines up with what the CAIAT said in 2020 about a secretive and opaque licensing system. So much so, Tom that it's allowed billions in arms, missiles, and machine guns to reach places that might well ruffle feathers. Emily Apple, CAT's media coordinator, even states, the UK is complicit in fueling conflict around the world. Her words indeed pack a punch, Lily. Weapons are reaching repressive regimes that violate human rights arbitrarily, and there's not much in the way of transparency. The CAIAT report demands the UK stop issuing export licences to states engaged in recurring and serious human rights abuses. That's our episode for today, folks. It's sobering to consider the sheer scale of the arms trade and the unsettling links to human rights abuses and conflicts globally. So next time you think of war, remember there's an enormous business booming behind the scenes. Thanks for joining us on Hear the Web. Stay informed and stay safe. Goodbye for now.